everyone, so I'm doing a video on my Disney pin collection and this is something that grows every month, sometimes every week, but I've been trying to keep the buying process to a minimum because it does get a little crazy at times and I already did a splurge buy and I had buyer's remorse after I paid for it and it's not on the board because it's really not one that I want to keep because it's a cute pin but it's not one of my favorite attractions from Disneyland and I'll show you guys in a bit but I'm going to show you guys my collection and how I kind of have it arranged right now I have some more pins coming in though so I'm going to have to rearrange the board a little bit when those other pins do come in, I will definitely do a another Disney pin mail haul video for you all. And with that said, let's get into this video. So first off, all the pins that are right here in the center are all pins that I've personally bought at the parks. So they're pins that I've bought at Disneyland and at Disney World. First off is the Cinderella pin. This was the very first pin that I purchased, and it's really beautiful. It's got all these little jewels on it. It is so, so pretty, and this was the only pin that I bought that one year that I went to Disney, and I first noticed the pins, like, really, really noticed them. So I only bought one, and then the following year, I bought Snow White and Aurora, and their dresses are glittery. I also bought World of Color. This gold pin right here that says Disney Princess. This one right here is one of my favorites. So it is Sleeping Beauty's Castle and it's got all these little jewels on it. And if you don't know by now, I do love Marie from the Aristocats. So how could I pass up on this one that says Perfect? These two came in a blind box. These are for the Mad Tea Party that Disney used to have. This one right here is another Alice in Wonderland pin and it's the Mad Tea Party. The last pin that I have from Disneyland is this Snow White one right here. And I actually have the matching cell phone case for this one. So now we get into the pins from Walt Disney World. This one here says my first visit to Walt Disney World. Then I have an Animal Kingdom pin. This one says I conquered Expedition Everest. This one is really cute. It says Beware the Yeti. This is another of my ultimate favorites. It's Walt Disney with all the classic characters. This is a Sleeping Beauty Mickey head. Here's another Murray pin. I have a Lady and the Tramp pin. Duffy in a Sully costume. So then we get into the Epcot World Showcase pins and these were all from a starter set so they all came together. First up is Canada with Pluto. The United Kingdom with Alice, France with Belle, Morocco with Jasmine, Japan with Minnie Mouse, American Adventure with Mickey, Italy with Chip and Dale, Germany with Snow White, China with Mulan, Norway with Goofy, and Mexico with Donald. Next, I have all of my Disney Diva and Princess shoes. So right here is Mary Poppins. This one right here is Mulan, Tinkerbell, Jessica Rabbit, Anna, Elsa, and the Three Fairies. So these ones here are all the Divas. Then we have the Princesses, which is Rapunzel, The Little Mermaid, Jasmine, Snow White, Aurora, Cinderella, 
and Tiana. Then I have this pin right here, which is Minnie Mouse, and this was a limited release pin, and my nephew has the Mickey Mouse one. Next, I have this Hats Required pin. Then I have this one right here, which is really pretty because it's got a little charm that dangles, and it says Disney Princess. The next one is Cinderella's Castle, and it's got all these little balloons. The next one that I do not have on the board is one of my other favorite pins. It was all started with a mouse. So if you open this one, you've got Walt and Mickey in the center. With classic Mickey and Minnie on the sides. So as I mentioned, all the pins that were in the center were all pins that I personally bought myself at the parks. So now I'm going to get into the pins that I bought online. First off, I should mention that these three pins down here are obviously not Disney pins. I bought these at Universal Studios. So starting off, I have two live action Cinderella pins. I have this Oswald pin a Pluto pin, Lady and the Tramp, another Pluto pin, Figaro, Duffy with a Steamboat Willie hat, and Duffy with a Mad Hatter hat, the Abominable Snowman or the Yeti, I'm not sure which one he is, aren't they basically the same thing? <laughs> Anyway, then I have this Cinderella pin, and this one you got if you went to the midnight showing at an AMC theater. I did not, so I bought it online. Then I've got my flower and garden pin, my cast member need pixie dust pin, another Cinderella pin, my Marie pin, and my Marie Mickey and my Marie Cupcake. Then we come down to the Maggie Simpson pin. Up here I have a metal pin with all the princesses. Then I have these two pins right here. This one right here says Perfect Princess. I have another Marie pin right here. And this is a Vinylmation pin. Then I have a letter D pin, and this one is Duchess. I do not want to collect the alphabets, but I do want to collect all the Aristocat pins. So when I saw this one, I just had to have it. Then I have this Minnie Mouse as a ballerina pin. These right here are cast member pins. This one is for California, and this one is for Florida. This one right here is a Maleficent pin and this one right here is Evil Queen. Next up I have this Elsa pin. Then another Evil Queen pin. This one says Bad Apple. I have an adorable Minnie Mouse pin and a nerdy Minnie Mouse pin. Another Pluto pin. A Donald, a very angry Donald pin and another Cinderella pin. This one right here is a perfume bottle pin. And now to show you guys my Buyer's Remorse pin. So I do want one of these a piece of Disneyland Resort history pins, but I did not want this one and it was a splurge buy. All I saw was a piece of Disneyland Resort history in the photo of the person who was selling these pins. Actually, she was doing pickups. She was at Disneyland, she was doing pickups, and she posted a picture of the pin wall, and I saw a piece of Disneyland Resort history. I did not see the pin, though. So it is Rivers of America. Not one of my favorite rides. And it's actually got like a little globe right here with a piece of fabric. The back says, Rivers of America. 
This pin contains a piece of the braid trim from the Native Americans' pants, as depicted along the Rivers of America attraction at Disneyland Park. The tribe and various audio-animatronic wildlife are some of the popular sites surrounding Tom Sawyer's Island since the park opened in 1955. Well, I'm actually going to take this with me anyway to Disneyland when I go in July and hopefully I can trade it. So we shall see. And yes, it is limited edition. So those are my Disney pins so far, and I'm really excited to be getting my other Disney pins in a few days. Hopefully, maybe even tomorrow. And once I do, I'm going to be doing a Disney pin mail haul video on those ones. I'm also excited to be getting my new bulletin boards from PBT. They're, they come in a set of two, and they're also in the shape of a heart. This bulletin board was also from PBT years ago. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you're a pin collector, let me know in the comment section below because I always love hearing from you guys. It really makes my day and I love to get to know you all. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!